In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use unbound text boxes in forms and reports, and how to uh, use a combo box or other selection to generate information in that uh, unbound text box. So the report we have in this database runs off of this form. You can select a uh, criteria through a query. Um, this is from a past tutorial. And if we open this up, you will see that our form generates our selection and we've named this form client AR. So if we want to say we run this report uh, several times and we want to have the year underneath here, but we don't want to have to change the text box every year for the user who plans on using this. The best way to handle this would be to open this up in Design View. And what we can do is place the text box control underneath the client. You can delete the actual text box and leave the unbound portion here. So with this being uh, a little bit more stand out from the rest of the formatting, it'd be better to blend this in with your report so we can blend this in as much as possible. We'll leave the border so that we know where our text box is and you'll see where the information should be. So the way that we can do this is we can generate this off of any form, any uh, area within the database, but we'll use this form since it generates our report. So if we go to design view and place a combo box into our form we will have the wizard generate which would allow us to walk through this select tables in this case we made a fiscal year table that contains a list of years that will be placed in the report and we want to use this criteria so select the year you can leave the ID and uh, leave the uh, key column hidden uh, let it name whatever you want the database to name it and you'll see that we now have an unbound text box or unbound combo box combo box 5 so if we open this back up in form view you will see the list of years that we have to choose from so if we come back here in design view this is still unbound if we go to the data tab on the property sheet, and if you don't see the property sheet, this can be opened by selecting property sheet from the tools at the top of your screen. Go to the data tab and control source. Uh, to build the control source, select the three dots. And you'll be able to go to filter form, go to forms, loaded forms, and you will see the form that we are using to generate our report. By selecting this you'll see all of the available options on that form. Select combo box 5 and it will put the formula into the box for you. Select OK and save. Go back to report view and select one of the years. By pressing F5 you'll notice that it gives you an ID. The ID automatically is tied to the drop down menu. So the best thing to do would be to go back to design view. On the report side, or on the form side, go to the combo box and you'll see where it says bound column 1 select bound column 2. What this is doing is changing the ID from populating to the year to populating. So you will now see that 2011 shows up instead of the ID associated with 2011. So we go down to any of these and press F5. You'll notice that they populate.
So now we have the ability to change different features. We have a new criteria and a new year. Um, there are situations where this will have issues printing. It'll show up on print preview. But whenever you print it, this might not show up. And in that case, the best thing to do is to make sure that whenever you print, this box stays populated. If this box is closed, this criteria goes away. It will show up on the print preview, but as soon as you print it and the selection has gone, it will not format during the print. So if you ever have any issues printing this and it shows up as an error, uh, make sure that this box or form, whatever form is referenced to that unbound text box, is open at the time. I hope this is helpful, and please check out our other tutorials.